All right, here we go with a little bit more of this stuff. Let's play some more on Link. So last time, we went through here, and we made someone's life a total living hell. Um, we had a lot of fun, but we didn't really accomplish a whole lot. This time, I think what I want to do, first of all, is keep the kitten from getting into my food. Go away, kitty. Good kitty. So I think the first thing that I want to do is I want to check uplink internal services and what we're going to do is we're going to go to the mission list and trace an unauthorized money transfer that could be a good one so here is what we need to do we need to contact this oh we can't allow you to contact this employer on their specific instructions that means they're trying to trace us on that subject let's uh, let's disconnect from here and let's go to internet uh, not that internet there we go And let's go into the admin section, access the logs, let's run our log deleter, and let's clear these logs out. That's right, we're going to have to deal with a lot of log shifting. There shouldn't be anything really incriminating in here. But it's just good practice to keep your logs clear. So, anyway, what I think I'm going to start doing is I think I'm going to start working towards finding some bank accounts to hack. Now, I'm using a pen and paper here in order to write down the information. So, if you don't see me using the notepad, it's not because I have a godlike memory, but I'm taking notes on a sheet of paper so that I don't have to use the in-game notepad, which is just kind of clunky, since you can't have multiple applications open at once. Uh, let's get rid of this last connection, close connection, established, and then we know we've gone far enough back, so whatever. There we go. Yeah, we're close enough. We may as well keep doing this. So, how I'm going to do that is I'm going to go through... Uplink internal services, and I'm going to take any missions that they have involving banks, and any account numbers that I get out of that, I'm going to make a note of them, and then I'm going to go take a look at them. Because sooner or later, we should run across an account that has a reasonable amount of money in it. Or we'll just end up with a, oh, hello. Someone just connected. That's what that was. I just wiped their logs. I've already looked these guys up, if I remember right. I think I did that last episode. Alright, logs are cleared. Let's go ahead and close the log deleter. Let's disconnect out of this. Let's go back to uplink internal services. And in we go. Let's go to the mission list. Skilled agent required to free fellow agent. Um, that, by the way, is going to be me going into the global criminal database to release the guy that I framed last episode. Um, frame a user for computer crimes. Encrypted. Hmm. All right, what do we have here? Frame for bank fraud, create part of a new identity. Our steam colleague wishes to make a donation. That involves a bank account. Let's contact this guy and let's say, I want more money. Okay, agreed. And let's go ahead and get our trace tracker up. We'll disconnect out of this and let's check the mission details. We need to break into 4Com, or no, we need to break into genetic developments. So filter that, and we'll tag Genetic Developments International Bank. Where is it at? 
I totally don't see it. Oh, there it is. Alright, let's load our bounce path, and let's connect there. And you know what? I'm going to kill the trace tracker because it's constantly in the way of my connect button. And I can see well enough what's going on with the trace up here. So, so we need to, let's see, do we already have an account on here? Yeah, we already have an account here. So, what are we doing here? We are, first of all, bypassing the security. Let's not forget that. Let's bypass the monitor. Bypass the bandwidth monitor. And bypass the proxy. Now, we are breaking into account number 7924422. And we need our password breaker. We're in. Let's view the account. Okay, there's only 5,600 credits in here. So this account isn't going to do us a whole lot of good. Let's view their statements. Now, here's where we start taking down some information. So, what do we know from this? From here, we know that at bank 181, there is an account number 213-53548. We know at bank 178, that there is an account number 13152934 and 1738424 and 5157649 at bank 170 there is 7529301 now we're going to do our mission real quick so that we can get paid we're also going to want to take down this one. 219, there is an account 2372380. So, we're going to go out of here. We're going to go transfer money. And the bank IP is this. 254.43. No, 43. Uh, the account number is 237.2380. And the amount to transfer is 2500 The transfer was completed successfully. We're going to reply. And we're going to get paid. And we're going to connect to Internet. Part of the reason I'm not running the trace tracker is I'm actually using Camtasia to record this time. I honestly can't remember. I think I, think I usually use Fraps to record this, and I think that's part of what's giving me such a headache. So, I'm trying Camtasia this time. It doesn't seem to be doing the flashy thing as much. But, with Camtasia, I have to be very, very careful not to click out of the window. Because I don't have it locked to the application, I have it locked to the screen area. And I'm sure you guys don't want to stare at my Audacity screen. So, let's disconnect out of here. And you know what? We can get rid of her phone number. I don't think we're going to need that again. So, uh, we can get rid of... Well, no, let's keep that stuff in case we decide to mess with them later. So, mission completed. We're going to close that. And let's just go ahead and delete some of this crap. Alright. Uh, BSC. What's BSC? I don't know. I don't think I want to know right now. Uh... Let's go back to... No. Let's go ahead and start hacking banks. Um, what is bank number 178? That's High Speed Computers International. Let's tag that. That's right there. So let's load our bank route, or let's load our bounce route. Let's connect to High Speed Computers International. And let's bypass all their security. Bypass monitor. Bypass proxy, bypass the bandwidth monitor, and now let's start, first of all, we do have an account here, right? Yes. Uh, let's start snooping around in accounts. 131-52934. Oops. 131-52934. 
Let's break into that account and see what there is to see. Alright, this account is actually overdrafted. Uh, this gave us another account number at that 181 bank. So 619-6742. And at the 108 bank that we just came from, we got account number 985 four nine five six great time for my pen to fail nine eight five four nine five six there we go all right and then at the six three bank we have account number or no, the 108 bank, scratch that, the 108 bank gave us count number 792. We already know what that one is. We know what that one is, so we don't have to write that down. Yeah, this pen sucks. Um, 9854956. There we go. Alright, so... You can see there's no red lines on here. We're not being traced yet, so we don't have to worry about this. Let's go into manage another existing account. Let's go 173-84224. Let's password break that. View this account. Oh, there we go. 40,000. That's not bad. Let's view the statements. There's a lot of log editing in here. Hmm. Alright, so we're going to tag this account on my little notepad with a star. That is going to mean this account has a relatively large amount of money in it. And if we go to view his statement, I um, should probably have another piece of paper for this because this one's getting kind of full. Okay, at the 6-3 bank, we also now have account number 175-63735. At the 178 bank, which is the one that we're at, we have account number... One nine one three seven two zero four, and we have account number nine five seven one two eight eight. And we have two zero five five zero eight three. So that's going to give us a lot of accounts to check at this bank. Let's go ahead and leave that alone for now. We've got enough account numbers to check out to last us a little while. So let's go done here. We're not going to mess with this yet. We're going to go to 5157649. And we're going to run Password Breaker. View this account. This is a $25,000 account, so it's not too bad. We'll tag that with a star. Let's go to view her statement. Any obscene amounts of money coming out of here? No, not really. We have another account number from the 178 bank, so let's go ahead and write that down. 101. 73448. Let's get out of that one. And uh, let's go into account number uh, 191-37204. Password break it. And we'll view this statement. Okay, this is an uplink member. He's overdrafted. 
We could take down his name, but... Alright, so that account's not worth bothering with. Let's check that one off. Manage existing, and we're going to go to 957-1258. Nine five seven two one two eight eight. Apparently, my pen cut out a little bit on me there. If you ever use a password breaker and it does nothing, that means you've got something wrong. The account that you're trying to crack doesn't exist. Let's go into the view of this account. Only about ten thousand. This one isn't worth the risk, so we'll leave it. Nothing there. 205-5083. View this statement. Eighteen K. Eh. You know what? We'll start just because. Okay, and we're gonna go done here. We're going to go manage existing. 101734989898. We're going to go password breaker. Something's wrong. Is that 448? No self. Get a better pen if you're going to do this. Yeah, 448. View accounts, only about 9k, nothing suspicious in the logs. They got a transfer from this other account. Um, let's go done, and let's disconnect from here for now. We'll connect to internet. Wipe our logs, just out of due practice. There we go. You know what, there is one thing that I want to start running. I want to keep that motion sensor going. If I'm not going to have the trace tracker running, I need to have the motion sensor going. Just in case I don't notice a trace. Uh, let's see here. Bank number 181. It's going to be microcommunications. Let's tag him. And let's untag high speed computers for now. And we'll leave Universal Industries tag because we're going there next. So, where are these? Finding the stupid little red squares is always so entertaining. I swear those weren't there. Okay. Load our bounce path. Go there. Connect. And we're going to bypass security. Monitors down. Proxy's down. Bandwidth monitor is down. And manage existing. We do have an account here. Uh, we're going to go 213-53548. And we're going to go password break. View this account. Eh. This account is nowhere near worth hacking. He's an uplink. Yep, he's an uplink agent. So... There's another one we could really mess with if we felt like it. Oops, that's not what I meant to do.
All right, and let's see here. Let's go back. Manage existing. Let's try the other one here. Six one nine six seven four two. You know what? Just for now, I'm gonna tag F one with my password breaker. There we go. F1 is now my password breaker. If I hit F1, it runs my password breaker for me. Oh shit, I'm being traced. Forgot to bypass security. Okay, security, log, delete. We are going to need to do a double log here. Because we need to leave a clean log. There. Connection established. Connection closed. Nothing untoward looking there. Load. Connect. They might immediately start tracing me. Bypass monitor. I don't see any red lines, so I don't think I'm being traced. Bypass proxy. Bypass bandwidth monitor. Uh, yeah, no, I'm clean on a trace. Let's try this again. 619-6742. View the account. There's another good one. 20k. View the statements. Nothing terribly unusual. And we're going to... Cancel that. We're going to disconnect. Connect to internet. Because we're done with that bank for now. Admin. Access the logs. Kill those three. Actually, I should have gotten the connection closed too, because now I show two connection closed. That looks suspicious. Goes looking there, they're gonna know something was going on. There we go. And let's go to the other bank. And bypass the monitor. Bypass the bandwidth monitor. Bypass the proxy. Manage existing. Uh, we're going to go to 9854956. Few accounts. Only 8k in it. Nothing unusual on the logs. We're done with this account. Manage existing. 17563735. View this account. 12k? That's worth it. I think. Alright. Okay, we'll disconnect. We're gonna... No, we don't need to... We don't need a long connection for this. We'll just connect here. Admin. Security log delete. You, 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 and you. And done. Now, in the meantime, let's go to Uplink Internal Services. Check the mission list. Trace an unauthorized money transfer. They're looking for me. They're looking for me. Hmm. I didn't think I did two money transfers recently, did I? Oh well. Not important. Oh wait, yeah, I did do the 
money transfer, didn't I? But there was nothing there to lead him back to me. So, whatever. Um, client interest in financial data on an enemy. It's going to get us an account number. So, we may as well do this. I want more money. And it's going to be going right back to microcommunications. Load. Connect. Monitor bypass. Bandwidth monitor bypass. Proxy bypass. Manage an existing account. We need account number 107.71.427. Now, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but there's a cheap trick that you can try with these financial data on an enemy missions. If they're looking for the size of the loan, that's frequently zero. Sometimes you can just reply to this message and say zero without ever actually looking. And sometimes it works. So, in this case, yeah, it's not right. So, let's view the account. Here loan's 2500 So, we need to reply to this with the right amount. Alright, and this is at bank 181. So, let's take this account number down. 107-71427. We're going to star that. See if she has any other bank transfers from inside this bank. No. Alright. Let's disconnect out of there and go clear our logs. Security, log delete, you, 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 and you. Alright, now I think it's time to pull something a little hairy. I have, across three different banks, a total of six accounts that I've starred. Let's pull off a massive bank hack. This is going to be a lot of fun. It's also very dangerous, so... This very well could result in a game over for me. However, it could pay off big time. So, let's risk it. 6-3. We need to filter that because we need to untag that to get it to show up again. And then 178. And then we had 2 at 181. So, there are victims. We are going to start Well, actually what we need to do is we need to start by getting the full IP addresses of all the banks that we're going to hack. That's the first thing. We didn't do anything illegal there, so we don't have to clear the logs yet. Uh, cancel out. And let's go banks. Alright, so the full IP address for 178 is 178.134.64.72. For the 181 bank, it is 181.3.91.126. And for the 63 bank, it is 63.251.25. Dot two three two. All right. Let's start at Universal Industries. Actually, we're going to go here, and just out of good practice, we're going to clear our logs before we start. Admin, access logs, delete, 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 delete. We know we're starting with a clean log. Universal Industries, here we come. Okay, 
that mission's completed. Now, it's time to get dangerous. We're going to go into our bypassers. We're going to bypass monitor. We're going to bypass bandwidth monitor. We're going to bypass proxy. Now, I don't know if I've ever explained it or not, but you saw the little red dots that showed up around proxy a few seconds ago. That means that the monitor is currently checking that system. You don't want to try to run a bypass on something that's currently being checked. I don't know if bypassing the monitor while that happens stops it from checking further or not, but I wouldn't want to risk it. So, manage existing. We need to break into account 175 63735. Transfer. We are going to transfer to bank number 181.3.91.126. Account number is 6196742. The amount, shh, damn it. View statement. 12008. Transfer money. 181.3.91.126. Account number is 6196742. Amount is 12008. Transfer. View statement. Security. Security. Log deleter. Delete that. Disconnect. Now, we are rushing against the clock here. Bank number 181. We're going to connect. Actually, you know what? We're going to wipe logs first. I haven't done anything yet that could directly lead them to me. I don't want to. Load. Connect. Launch our bypassers. Monitors bypassed. Bandwidth monitors bypassed. Proxy is bypassed. Manage existing accounts. 6196742. Run password break. Proceed. View account. The amount in this account is now 32076. We're going to view the statement. We're going to wipe that log. We are going to transfer money to the same bank. 181.3.91.126. The account number is going to be 107.71.427. The amount is going to be 32076. No. 32076. Transfer. The transfer was completed successfully. View statement. Delete. Done in this account. Actually, you know what? Let's go back into that account. Let's mess with it. Uh, 619.6742. Password break it again. Proceed. Close accounts. Closed. Manage existing. Uh, 107.71427. Password break. Proceed. View statement. Wiped. View account. Balance. 46816. Transfer money to 178.134.64.72. Account number here is 1738424. Amount is 468.16. Transfer. Transfer was completed successfully. View statement. Wiped. Disconnect. Enter Nick. Connect. Admin. Logs. Done, 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 done. Close. Disconnect. Alright. Load. We need to go to high speed computers. Need to bypass monitor. Bypass proxy. Bypass bandwidth monitor. Manage existing. Uh, we are going to go to account number 
crack the password. I'm going to take note of how much is in here. It's now 87k. 87660. We're going to transfer some money. We're going to transfer it to 178.134.64.72. Account is 515 Amount is 87660. Transfer is out. Security. Log delete. View statement. Wiped. Wiped. Done. Done. Going to manage an existing account. We're going to go to 5157649. We're going to break its password. View the account. There is now $112,690 in this account. I'm going to go that. We're going to go to transfer money. We're going to go to 178. 134.64.72. We're going to go to account number 205.5083. We're going to do $112,690. We're going to transfer that. Transfer was completed successfully. We're going to go view statement, wipe, wipe, done, and done. And we're going to go to manage existing account. We need to take down one more account number here. It is 228.81696. And we need one more IP and one more account number. We need 14.56.222.220. The account number there is 436443. I'm sure you guys can see where I'm going with this. All right. We need uh, 205.50.83. Break the password for me, please. We need to view this account. There is $130,886 in there. He has no loan, which works out perfectly. We are going to transfer money to 178.134.64.72. The amount is, or the account number is 22881696. The amount is 130886. Transfer. Transfer was not completed successfully. We need to transfer, and we need to check all this again. 178.64.72. 22.881696. The amount was 130.886. Transfer was completed successfully. We now have something leading back to us. So we need to hurry. We need to close this account. The account is closed. We're going to manage an existing. We're going to view this statement. We're going to wipe that statement. Transfer money to 14.56.222.220. Account number is 436443. The amount number is 130886. Transfer. Transfer was completed successfully. View statement. Wiped. Close account. Account is closed. Disconnect. Admin section. Access logs. Wipe, 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 wipe. Done. Bank hacked. Got us a little bit more money. Now to see if we got away with it. Let's go into Uplink Internal Services to pass some time. We should have been able to get away with it. Actually, you know what? Just for safe just for safety's sake. Let's go and unhighlight those banks. Let's highlight Uplink International. Where is Uplink International? It's right there. Let's connect there. And let's go. Bypassers Monitor. Bypassers Proxy. Bypassers Bandwidth Monitor. Let's go Manage Existing Account. Let's go View Statement. I just got a message. That's a good thing. That, more than likely, means, hey, 
Congratulations, you just successfully pulled off a major bank hack. See so our statements? Okay, we have nothing leading to us. Let's disconnect that. Let's go for one more wipe. Access logs. And done. Congratulations, your rating is now expert. Thought I was an expert before, but... Okay, mission list. Uh, let's go ahead and do a minor fast forward on some time here. Holy crap! Check that out. Check that action out. <laughs> They're all looking for me. <laughs> oh, that's a thing of beauty. Holy crap. The mission log just got completely and totally spammed with, Hey, um, yeah, help us find this guy who just completely wrecked us. I didn't think I did that many hacks. Wow. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so I appear to have gotten away with it scot-free. So, um, yeah, let's, let's, let's leave it at that. Um, and I think, yeah, I'm running on 42 minutes now, so I think that's enough recording for OnLink for one day. Um, this has been Night Dagger with Let's Play On Link, and I just successfully did a chain hack across three banks. Um, yeah, that was some fun times. Hope you guys enjoyed watching it. I'll catch you later.